Kaliuga means everything's negated. What do you mean? Like, uh... uh you, for the rest of this turn, you cannot activate any effects. It completely shuts down everything, so you cannot play anymore. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you cannot I love you. I love, <laughs> I love Yu-Gi-Oh. Kaliuga punch on time, baby! Let's go! What deck is playing through that, bro? What deck is playing through that board? What deck is playing through that board, huh? Today's video, I'm gonna be taking you guys on a journey. We're gonna start off by building the deck from scratch on Dueling Book, by playing some test hands and putting him Kaliuga five times in a row, dueling some scrubs, and then we're gonna go to locals, attempt to build this deck in real life, and then if anyone wants to get in our way, just like the last Geist player in our last video, Pen uh, suck. What? <laughs> I will 5-0 him in a best of three. We're sick. What? Geist best deck. Pen summon three, make access code attack for game. Pen best deck, baby. So you ready for the video? Smash the subscribe button. I was at 35,000 subscribers. Smash the subscribe button and stay tuned to the end of the video. If you guys like this vlog style video, let me know in the comments and maybe we'll make every video like that. So with that being said, if y'all ready, if y'all ready for the video, I'm gonna give you guys a little spoiler of the deck. We're playing Odd Eyes, baby. Let's go. <laughs> We're playing Odd Eyes, baby. Let's go. Bro, that intro gets me every time, bro. Let's go. Bro, just look at that play, man. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> look at that, baby. Let's kill the meta properly this time. Huh, Double Iris? Get your mat right now on TripGaming.com before they sell out. Anyways, let's get started, boys. Kaliuga, best deck. We gotta throw in our Magicians, obviously. We gotta throw in our Endymion cards, obviously. We just want level 7 spam. The way you do this deck is very easy, actually. You just want level 7 spam. We're playing Pen Call Dark Worm because you got a free Gate Zero. You get a free Extenders. You gotta throw in the Rusty Package, obviously. The way you make Kaliuga, for those who don't know, you just go into a rank set. You go Absolute Dragon and you make Rusty. And then Absolute Dragon, when it goes to the Graveyard, instead of bringing a Vortex Dragon, you bring out Raging Dragon, which is a, uh, Odd-Eyes Raging Dragon, does nothing while it summons Kaliuga for free. Then you get the rank up, and you get Kaliuga on top. You want to back it up with the right hand restage, like, just a right hand to negate a spell cord, or if not that, a Mighty Master and a Jackal. Just, like, one Jackal, one Mighty Master to negate anything that might stop the Kaliuga from resolving. Any, like, I don't know, monster, spell card, or anything like that. I'm gonna do some solo modes right here. Just so you guys get an idea of how it works. They're gonna be super fast speed, because I don't want this to be a 50 minute video. Uh, it's gonna be long anyways, but this is just a general idea. We're gonna do lots of solo hands, so if it's too slow, we're gonna do a match right now as well, just to test the deck out. I mean, look, the deck's amazing. Every hand's Kaliuga. So we're gonna just duel this random scrub. Uh, who's Farfa? I never heard of her. So we're just gonna duel this person right now, just to get an idea of how the deck works. Just so you guys get an idea. So we, we drew two bricks here, but we're still gonna pull off the combo like it's nothing. I know it's a little fast, uh, uh, fast paced for some of you guys that don't know the combo properly. But as you guys saw there, I went to Verde. Verde made uh, absolute a dark uh, by its own effects. So Verde is a one card rust, still not one card rusty, but makes any card a dark. So you enter rusty and you just back up your Caliga with negates. Uh, he's playing B. Uh, this person's playing B A here. We get fire linked into oblivion. I'm like, yo, that, that was so bad. Fire link destroyed us there. But it's all good. We're entering game three now. This should give you guys an idea of how the deck works. You're just going through the normal motions of playing pendulums, but instead of putting up a board of six negates, just put up an infinity negate Kaliuga. Like, how many times can you absolute dragon? You know what I mean? Absolute dragon happens every game, but even more because you're playing uh, with Endymion and Magicians and Odd Eyes and Dark Worm and so much different cards, right? So here we're going to go into it again. I made a little mistake here. I, I didn't even recognize that. Uh, I'll let you guys know when it comes. But I, I should have summoned Kaliuga in the left zone. Because I, it, that actually ended up uh, really costing me. Because I wouldn't be able to pen some in there. And look at this. And just like that. I Another mistake here is you want to make sure your extra deck has enough cards to go second. And we learned something there. Our deck was not perfect. Our deck is not perfect. But we should have OTK him there. And instead of us OTK, we got OTK. So sad. I don't know how that we just lost to Farfa, but that shows that the deck is not complete. That's the whole point of the deck building process. 
you have to recognize in your deck what's good and what's bad. So we recognize instantly that we cannot kill someone. So we need to fix up the extra deck. So I instantly changed the extra deck to add more cards I could kill someone with. Because after he set up his board, I needed a way to kill someone, right? Even though we did misplay putting Cal Yuga in the zone beside Rusty, we should have put it in the left. So I put in some more X rank 4 XYZ. I put in a rank dark XYZs. That way going second, I could just kill someone way easier. So here we're going to do some test hands again with a new build. And I just want to make sure, I already the build already looks clean here. The build already looks like it's less unnecessary shit. Just so you can pull off, like that will be game automatically. And you see how we put Selene at the top and Rusty at the bottom? That kind of ensures that going second we get OTK. So we're just learning the deck more and more on like how are we going to OTK, not just Kali, but how are you going to OTK him after that, right? So that's right there is an auto win and going second you're OTKing after that regardless of the board. So the whole point again is not just the Kali Yuga, but ensure you can OTK after because you don't need 10 negates when you just have infinity negate Kali Yuga. Uh, so we're going to go to locals right now then we're going to play one more match. And after one more match just to get an idea of the deck like we want to know how's the deck going to work out like what's this is, this is super clean to me. So you want to make sure no matter what you can kill them like I said. So here is the same thing. Magicians it give you access to a lot of utility, but also to a lot of rank fours. So I set up the extra deck in a cool way. Funny enough, we're playing Pendulum Magicians here. And not just normal Pendulum Magicians, we're actually playing my Pendulum Magician build. He ends up breaking here. I took Jackal out of my deck for this very reason, I think. Uh, there's a few cards in the deck that can break a little bit. He summons Scythe, but Scythe does nothing to a Magician, a Pendulum deck, because he just Mighty Master everything. So uh, we, we defeat our Disciple there. Pen bus deck, let's go! Our deck is ready. Our deck is complete. I don't know what time it is. It is time to build this deck in real life. I'm hyped, bro. I'm hyped. It's finally time to go to locals. Last time I went was a few days ago, and I already missed locals. So I'm gonna go to locals right now, build this deck in real life, and destroy anyone in our path. We already conquered all of dueling book. Five doesn't count. He sucks. So the win is like a free win. It's like you let a child beat you. You know, it's kind of like that. Anyways, time to go like that in real life. Before we do go, I'm starving. So I'm gonna go get some food. And it's time. You guys have seen Triff Gaming. It's time for Triff Cooking. Triff Cooking time, baby. Let's go, baby. Triff Cooking time. I'm not just the pen god. I am also Gordon Ramsay. I'm Bobby Flay. I'm Anthony Bourdain. I'm Jamie Oliver. I'm the best cook in the game, baby. Look at that. Look at that move, that flick. Look at that flick of the pepper, bro. Look at that. I am the, I'm the greatest chef ever live in the planet let's go that was disgusting all right let's go baby pendulum time Wait, what mia mia let's save, save our cat first all right now it's time to go to locals let's go baby rain hill and shine we always gonna grind a vote for dynamis is a vote for the best day don't you know pop it up you got to pop it up Giving people who can't go to locals, it's okay, ASMR. This is ASMR. I lost the witchcraft fish. You lost the witchcraft fish. Dude, dude, okay, this guy, uh, uh, he goes first, right? Incoming a four hour story of what happens after you lose to Winwich Shadal. So while he goes on in his incredible riveting story on how he could have won against Winwich Shadal, we're gonna build our deck. You know Mark Gale? Miguel? Mark Gale. Mark Gale. Of course I know Mark Gale. <laughs> one day, one time he went to the regionals and he lost to the magician. Like chocolate, TV, and that shit? Did he actually? Yeah. Wow. Wait, this dude is sick. How did, what the fuck happened? I can't remember. I just went to go watch yeah. his duo. Yeah. <laughs> the guy has very good shit. <laughs> Who looks at the Dark Magician girls, bro? All right, we're MP16 here. We're gonna pull out a few cards, MP17, and we're almost done with our with our deck. We're like 10 cards away here. We're almost done. We're almost done. Let's go, boys. Let's go. We're almost complete. If you look closely enough, these are actually Magician Souls. Yo, bro. 
Yo, what's the best deck? Wait, what, what do you think is the best deck? Who clapped you a thousand times in tournament before you started working here? Yo, you beat me Who on a three Salamangrates, come on. You still play Salamangrates. It does, it sucks. I still clap every time, baby. You want to duel later? That's sweet, that's sweet. I don't think my dad. You're literally scared. You really have it with you. Hey, You're yo, scared. My bag's right there. My bag's right there. Yo, oh. MP16 here. We're looking for one card. Kaliga, baby. Let's go. Almost done our deck here. Look how easy it is to find out your deck or exit deck on this beautiful trip game play my double iris. Go get on tripgaming.com right now. Let's go. I think all we're missing is just Magician Souls, the Axis Code Talker. Wait, what do you know? I don't even know, man. I feel like. What, what do you think is the best deck right now? Like, Inferno Mode, they're by far like tier oh, yeah. one, like the best. Yeah. No, no okay. way. Yeah? Bro, repeat yeah, what you just said. I said Inferno Mode are the best deck of this format. Inferno Mode? <laughs> you think Inferno Mode is the best deck? Then bring, your, bring your cards up right now. We're going to go duel right now. We'll see who's the best deck. It's time. No, Droll's bad. Buddy, Droll is bad, baby. You can't throw in Droll in your side deck. No chance. Let's go, boys. We still couldn't find Magician Souls. So Magician's Rod is a proxy for Magician Souls. For those wondering, uh, for the last video, I said all about obedience with Magician Souls and still 10,000 people were wondering. Anyways, let's go. So we got Crowley here. We searched the, wow, it just took me, it took me this long. All those comments in the last video about Bio of Obedience, I just realized they're fucking sarcastic because I said it, brought it up a hundred times. So I'm gonna say it once more now. Magician's Rod, Magician's Souls. Anyways, let's go. Uh, you guys don't need to pay too much attention here. If you guys wanna learn how to play the deck a little better, I understand I'm going fast paced, but the whole point of this video was not to teach you guys how to do the combo, but it's to take you guys like a step-by-step -step process on the whole deck building process, you know, beginning to end. I thought it'd be pretty cool to do. And here we're gonna drop the Kaliuga. If you guys do have questions on how to do it, tune into my streams. I'll be streaming more often at night. And those streams are gonna be extremely combo orientated. I don't think people wanna sit through a 30 minute combo tutorial. But at least this, uh, you get like a whole idea of how like locals is. I'm sure you guys miss locals. Here we Kaliuga him and he just cries, obviously. Kaliuga's just auto win right there. He ends up attacking and actually learned something important there. Uh, I put up an Appaloosa with the Kaliuga and that's actually so stupid. Because Kaliuga is going to negate your own Appaloosa. So that play over there taught me, even though we won, never end on Appaloosa. They're just going to attack into it. It's going to be zero attack. So that's just an extremely stupid play. I think we could freely take Appaloosa out of the extra deck because the whole point is Kaliuga. And that's just a complete waste of an interruption. Uh, maybe it's okay if you want to play through Nibiru, but I think it's just a, so, so, such a waste. You just lose your, your Link 4 for nothing. And that thing is so important because you want to pendulum under it. We don't open any side cards here. He's playing Infernoble. Uh, but this is it for a noble new list so he's a little iffy on how to needle fiber combo after the needle fiber but regardless of what board he puts up i mean i'm gonna obliterate it i'm playing the best deck so here's gonna take a few plays back i mean it's okay we're both gonna think about what is the best play you could do here like what is the best play you could do here after needle fiber what do you do exactly so he was a little confused here but that's totally fine because that's the point of testing here the point of testing you want to learn the best deck so that's the point what we're doing here we're both testing so I, I'm like, show me extra deck. We'll both think of a cool combo. So if anyone in the chat, think of the coolest combo you can do with Inferno Bowl. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, what could you do in the situation? He has a Gamba that comes out. And he's, he's going to like teach you like what like what type of board can you do with Inferno Bowl without Needle Fiber. So here we are in game two. Like uh, I just want to see what he can do. I told him maybe do this, maybe do that. I know he has a smoke grenade. Uh, I told him like do whatever you can to smoke grenade. Because if I open one Mystic Mine or one Sphere Mode or Dark really just lose. So he ends up uh, smoke grenading. He gets rid of a card. Uh, he's into the void. I don't draw any go second uh, cards that destroy his board. I ended up siding 12. We did. We were playing 60 cards. So uh, you're not always going to open your side cards. But we side, we did side 12. We just didn't open any. That's fine. It happens. Uh, siding 12 and 60 is like siding 9 and 40. The same ratios. Uh, so here I do some plays to uh, try and clear his board. I know I can OTK this really easily right now. But I have to be very careful on how I do it. Uh, he ends up dropping a Veiler down, and I'm just gonna, uh, Selene. I have Mighty Master and Scale. It's a little bit of a glare, so you can't, might not be able to tell. So we're about to destroy him right now, because Pen Best deck. So we're just gonna Selene, Mighty Master his entire board, and it's a tie for game. Pen Best deck, baby. No one's on our level. Rock, block. Who's next, baby? Who's next? Rock, let's rock your next, baby. Pen Best deck, let's go. Who's next?
next, huh? Who's next? Who's next? You whiff? You whiff? You whiff? It's all good. You whiff? My turn. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's what happens. Where's your block drinking now, huh? Where's your block drinking now, huh? Pen best stack. Let's go. We are unstoppable here. We open broken as always. We just cannot be stopped. We cannot be stopped. We cannot be stopped. Come at us. Pen summon. Attack for eating the beer. Oh, eating a beer with me. Eating a beer with me. That's very sad. But I mean, we're still gonna destroy. It's okay. We're still gonna win. He's gonna go. He's gonna go into a big combo here. I'm like, yo, am I actually gonna lose this? Until I realize. Wait a second. They do not block dragon. <laughs> I'm literally not gonna lose. Let's go. Let's fucking go, baby. I still ain't gonna lose. Uh, so I end up uh, using Chrono Effect. He negates it. Pen summon. Kill everything. I don't sling because I have a Jackal on there. And this is just gonna be game regardless. I added the phase. Celestial is so good, man. Celestial is so good. Such an underrated card. And I kill him and attack for game. So we're gonna go game two here. Uh, it's very sad, man. I wanted to at least once put up Kaliuga against the Rock deck. That would be hilarious. What do they do? Set three Emancipate or special three Emancipators from head and pass turn forever. Cha cha cha. Be my guest, bro. Be my guest. Pendulum best deck. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Can I get let's go in the comments? Can we get some let's go in the comments for the best deck? Let's uh, shuffle up our pile. Shuffle our, our sixty card deck. You don't wanna. You don't wanna brick. Uh, game one. Uh, game one actually. Uh, it seemed like I've been broken, right? But actually, I opened up. To, like literally every single dragon in my deck, I had two dead honors revolution dragons in my hand that didn't have anything to search. At that point, I recognized you need to play uh, the level eight, the level seven, level eight scale honors arc pendulum. That is mandatory because you don't want to run out of sky iris targets. So you you gotta throw it in. Originally, I wanted to play sky iris revolution dragon just for dark worm to have like ten pen called dark worms, but uh, you definitely need to play a scale eight in there. If I had it, I would have killed him even quicker, especially because it's a level seven. So. We definitely got to throw it in. And that's the beauty of testing here. Testing both. How many duels have we done in this video so far? Like five solo hands, two matches on Dueling Book, two matches in real life. You learn a lot about the deck. Let alone imagine doing this when events are back. And I can uh, show you guys uh, a locals vlog like from beginning to end in tournament. Like imagine how much you learn from that, bro. So we learned instantly that Appaloosa got to be out of the deck. And Dark Worm uh, is going to need a Dark Dragon Companion in Ana's Arc Pendulum. We learned we need to OTK with cards like Big Eye and uh, Dark Rebellion, the rank, uh, X, Dark XYZ monsters that could be uh, XYZ beside Rusty Pendulum to OTK easier. And the fact that Rusty gets special back with Fog Blade, it, it's very big. It's very important. So uh, just like that, so we learned so much that quickly. That's a proxy for Axis Code, and we got Nibiru into Oblivion, ja, ja, ja. But that's all good. So I hope that this video gave you guys like some ideas on how to build this deck. I learned so much about Kaliuga from beginning to end of this video. So I just imagine that if I learned a lot, you guys must learn a lot as well. So make sure to, I'm going to drop you guys the, the official updated list at the end of this video. And I think that it's just by far the best way to play Kaliuga Pendulums by far. And it might just be the best version of Pendulums right now. Let's go. Had an absolutely amazing time at Locals. I hope you guys can get to go to Locals as well from your, wherever you guys live. But I know obviously a lot of you might not be able to because of COVID. But it's okay. You guys live vicariously through the pen god. Ja, ja, ja. So I'm going to give you guys the updated list right here. This is the updated list before I head out. And if you guys have any questions about this list, feel free to ask me a pendulum training on Patreon. I ask, I answer every single pendulum question you guys have, as well as give you guys updated videos weekly on the meta about everything you guys need to know to destroy the competition. If you guys love the video, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. If you guys want to see more vlog type, it's not really a vlog, but it's like half of a vlog. If you want to see more vlog type videos like this one, where I go to locals, just let me know in the comments and I would love to give you that for you guys. Don't forget to get beautiful, beautiful trip gaming play on tripgaming.com. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!